Uh, yeah. Oh, another thing we've got in here, huh? But first, get this from the scorpions. And 10 out of 10 collectibles. Neat. Now, uh, hmm. So we'll look down here first, I guess. Nothing to be done there. We're gonna land on this little tiny island. Yeah. In fact, I may, may have needed to do that because I think there was nothing there at that bridge a second ago. Yeah. Okay, just chain of these, except I don't know where this one went now, huh? Bit of a back and forth this area. Oh, here it is. Never mind, it was pretty simple. Oh boy, it's the entire coterie of bad guys from from this area, huh? This finally teamed up like some kind of villain team on a Sentai show to bring the pain. Alright, let's see if uh see if we can beat this final array of evil guys. Oh, this herbal medicine's gonna drop us out of overdrive, but that poison stat is really bad. Ah! Whew, okay. Gonna have to heal everybody. Uh oh. Yeah, why the heck not? Keep that thing low. It does good damage. Oh. Yeah, no, actually no, let's not. Let's save until the meter is a little higher, because we'd fall out of overdrive if I started ultra moving on these chumps. Cook that up, but now... Oh! How could you manage to do exactly the point of damage you needed to crush us? You goon. Okay. I don't know. Might as well, again, to keep that meter low. Yeah. I'm so mad. Okay, one of them down. Ooh, a little bit of treasure there. I need to heal up everybody, so I can't... I, Rob's just gonna have to lie there for a second. Lie there and think about how this went. God. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna risk it because we gotta get uh, Rob up. And just hope that he gets a turn soon ish. That's not soon ish. God darn. Oof. Oh, that boy. Oh! Oh, you chumperinos. You know what would be a great move we could do right about now? It is, in fact, an ultra move. Ah! Do this, rock and sock em, robot. Of course! Of course! Picks Rob. Yeah, you jerkwad. Okay, that's another poison effect. Oh, hey, finally. A little bit better. Um, we're just gonna swap in, uh... 
Len there and let Glenn stew in his poison, because this one's not going to work out very well at all. Um, could we kill the scorpion with a fire thrust? Just reduce the damage coming our way, at least. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, probably the first smart move I've made all fight. This, this one... This one was a mess. Uh, like... It went better than I, I would have expected, given the, you know, the entire selection of the entire gang squad of Perpetua here, you know. In, in, in light of that, like, this went pretty well, but still, I did that pretty messily. All right. Got the spore man thingy as well. Yay. If only, if only I would have taken out the alpha wolves in Fjord Woods and found the class emblem. We'd be having one hell of a chain right about now. And then the treasure chest in Farnsport. Mm. Someday. Okay. Links up down here. With a, for a little bit of extra treasure. But the tricky thing is, I don't know how to get that one down there. That's the problem. Oh, except, hold on. Did I just walk by? Hold on. Let's, let's backtrack quite a bit. Because I walked on that bridge. Was this not here before? And when we activated one of these pods, it actually secretly opened up this path here as well. Do you think that's what happened? Because I've been pretty careful about getting all of these. So I'm not sure how I missed this. I feel like I... Oh, oh, ooh. I feel like I would have not missed that. I wonder... Well, there's one tiny random island to the south there. So did I get that at any point? I didn't. I wonder if that's what that en entire chain there just now was. An S-stock and a silver sword. Let's go. So, let's see. Big swords are... Yeah, great swords are not... Silver sword. Okay. Mm. Silver four. Source Four-star weapon. Wow, that's kind of funny. They give you stars up there for the weapon, huh? Okay, the tier of weapon. Now, uh, hold on. The Copus... Oh, interesting. The upgraded Copus has attack plus 30. So actually putting the silver sword on is a waste right now. Because we don't have any crystals in it. But I'm going to do it anyway because I'm going to forget to do it. And we got an S-stock here, which does in fact have an increase on stats. Wow, lovely. Oh. Glad I'm paying attention, eh? That's at least one small way of feeling like we are getting more powerful outside of the Grimoire Shards, is that at least when we get new gear, it makes it go like hell yeah. Feel that much more buffed through. Oh! Whoa! Hold on, was I here earlier? Yes, this was where I fought the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I fought the three goons here, and then we came over here. Okay, 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 I'm on the map. When I'm selling stuff in such dangerous places, I usually raise the prices. But because it's you, I'll make an exception. Uh, this is a tier of weapons I'm not particularly interested in. Same here. Don't really need anything here. But let's see the deals. I am ready to make some deals, my man. But I don't actually... I'm not actually. I'm missing something. Something I'm missing on basically everything. Dang. Well, we can at least sell our vendor trash, our loot. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Ooh, a new deals have actually opened up from that crazy sale. Sure enough, a super rare material pack and a trove of gold. So I'm gonna give up a metal frog, yellow snail, so we got a yellow snail somehow from doing that. Oh, is it that you have to sell stuff and then these things appear here? Not that, uh... Not that uh, you need to have it in your possession, because I could swear I didn't have yellow snails a second ago. 
Or am I just crazy? What the heck? I don't know. Let's get that. We got gold ore, giant's hide, tough rips, yak grass fiber, and hard shell. Yay. And... A trove of gold. A bunch of weird items we're giving, but... Hey, just a bunch of gold ore. You know, I... Um, kind of could have guessed that's what it would be. Alright. Um, once again, we're doing this today, apparently. I, I feel like I need to take care of this, so... Um, let's review again the pluses here. We got an S-stock now here, and... Uh -uh. Eden Hender is still unavailable. Yeah, let's do the Silver Sword. Oh, yeah. And the S stock. Oh, yeah. Eden Hender, we can't help at the moment. We could do the Partisan. Let's check our armor situation first. We could upgrade the Brigandine, do the Shielded Mail. Adventurer's Vest, or the Miranda Bolero, or the Shaman's Robe, hmm. So let's see, for Glenn I upgraded the armor, uh, the weapon, so let's not do that for him. Instead let's just do that for Bathras, and let's do that for... What am I missing? Oh, my weathered bones are all out. Eh, I must have used them for the Brigandine. Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh, well, let's do here. Let me random Bolero to a plus two. Oh, yeah. Shimmering Garb is maxed out. Um, let's do the Adventurer's Vest as well. We could do the Shaman's Robe. But let's do that uh, Partisan, actually. Because she's doing crazy damage, so might as well get those stats up a little further, even. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now then, let's do the quick crystal situation here. Ta-da! Water resistance 2. Can we use the... No. So... So once you start to modify a crystal, you have to level that crystal up. That's how this works. So we have to use this water resistance, even though the purity would be better. She's a little sneaky, but... Eh, it's fine. You have to use the modified one once you have one, and you cannot use a second modified one. Got it. We are learning how this works now. So for example, I need to make sure I get a heavy strike one later on. To up that. That's fine. Silence hit three. Silence hit two. We'll probably get some more silence hits. So we can maybe upgrade that even further. We hit five. So we're already like getting like base effects. You know. It's three is the one where you get something finally. But, uh, yeah, once you can get to, um, you know, five is, like, like big effects start to happen. And that's good. Doom Resistance 6. Doom Resistance 3. This will get up to 9. And there's one purity left, so we'll be able to get to 10 with that as well. And I imagine you want to be resistant to Doom, so... I'll try to go for that. Uh, Okay, this one's only up to six now, uh, and only one purity left, so this might not work out. We need a four to get there. It's not impossible, but uh, needs a bit bit of luck. What's auto aura? Triggers aura for three turns at the beginning of battle. What is aura? I don't remember. Anyway, anything at purity zero? No. Nothing at purity zero. Oh, is there any four crystal ones? Is there actually any four crystal ones at all in this game? I don't think there are, no. Could you equip two SOS crit ups? I mean, you can't because three and two, like, and then they would add up equipped. I, I don't think so. I don't know. Mm. Hmm. 
treasure. More angel wings. I was spending a fortune on these at one point, so I'm glad we are finding these now. Huh. Thinking about which direction to go here is a little... Open-ended. Uh-oh. Glenn? I'm not feeling too well. This aura. It's that beast again. Oh boy. The... Oh, this angel is creepy. <laughs> there it is. She looks like an angel. A trap most sweet. Begone, demon. You have no place in the world of men. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Baby, you got a whole lot uglier. <laughs> Whoa! I guess it's showing its true form, huh? This monster seems to feed on travelers by lulling their senses first. No lullabies for us today, my dear. Everyone, get ready. Doesn't look like it wants to leave this time. Aw, oh, damn, we're kind of at the end of the episode here. But should we go a little long because I was taking a while with all that menu finagling as well? <sighs> I guess... I guess we'll do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see how this goes. Okay, what are we dealing with here? The puppeteer. Got it. <laughs> and the angel is its puppet. That's messed up. Let's see how this goes. Ah! Pretty big damage. Maybe we can manage? I didn't mean to rhyme there. It, it kind of sort of rhymed. Oh, what? Hold on. Oh, there's two actions here. Hold on. Puppet and puppet. Oh, no. Oh, what the heck is this now? They're both, like, part of this fight? So which one do I kill? Oh, I think we gotta go for the puppeteer, right? Or maybe kill the ad of the puppet first? Oh, no. I don't know which one to go for first. I think maybe the puppet. Cause it's if, but if this guy summons the puppet back, then there's really no point. Then we just go for the puppeteer. Well, let's see. Let's go for the puppet first, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pile on that damage. Ugh, boy. Uh, yeah, you're still on myself. Ah! Well, that's, that's not that bad. Gotta get this Valor Minway off first. Then I can think about healing the group. Yeah, why not? Because... Again, gotta keep that meter low. No 200 damage. Respectable. How do you like that? Oh no, it's Doom! As mentioned, oh no. Um, do I bring in Rob and heal that Doom? I'm not sure what Doom did again. Wait, did that... Oh, no. Paralyze. Hold on. Does he still have Doom on him? I can't tell, but I gotta heal everybody at this point, so... Oh, man. I can't see if, like, that... If that Doom got healed by herbal medicine. Come on, now. Oh, man. The face when it casts dark. That's very funny. Oh, yes, it got rid of Doom. Fantastic. It, it just looked like it didn't say removed Doom, so I'm a little worried there. Oh, we don't actually want to do that. Not right now. Instead... Um, let's use that to build up that meter, and... Yeah, that, that face when it casts dark. Gotta messed up. Ooh!
Okay, now hold on. We do this. Oh, we gotta drop out of overdrive, but I gotta heal up my lad, Bathraz, here. Because this, now we use Earth Drums. Well, this guy has heavy. It's gonna do big damage. Exactly, that's what I'm looking for. Ooh, twisting wind. Oh, what the? What is going on? I feel so dizzy all of a sudden. But why? Oh no, Think it's a healer? Oh, that's a problem. So what did that do? Made us dizzy? I, I don't know. Um, hold on. Uh, what do we do? Oh my god! Okay, no, I see what it did. Have you guys at home noticed what happened? The overdrive meter. It's completely like bonkers now. What the heck? Oh, that's a problem. That's such a huge problem because there's that huge gap of like overheat in the middle there. Oh my goodness. How are we going to deal with this now? Because, like, I would kind of want to do Alfred's will here. I'm going to do it. I did it, dang it. But we are overheating, so I need to just defend with Bothraz. Or I could actually, yeah. Why the heck not? Now's the time. Pull out that gun! Damage, 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 damage! Yeah, heal through that, lady. Oh boy, does this last for a while? Or the entire combat? This, like, messed up overdrive bar? I'm a little worried here. Okay, um... Let's set up this now. Set up the oil. Doom. Two turns until death! Oh, that's what Doom does? Yeah, that would be a problem. Just, you know, scientifically speaking, that would kind of suck. We gotta play so carefully now with uh, the overdrive meter here. I think that removes Doom, because... We lost Doom on Bothra, so I think it's fine that I did that. I think. Time to die, folks. No? Okay. And, oh, yeah, oh, oh, but now's the time for the big trick, because we put that oil on that thing. Fire Frost! Gotcha! Maybe a bit of a bit of overkill there, perhaps, but you know, gotta make sure that thing is gone, 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 so. I don't wanna risk that. Let's just bring in Killian instead. Drop a heal. Laming it out a little bit, I know, I know. Yeah, dry is on that thing, so now water should also leave a mark. But, oh, we're getting close to overheat here. Okay. In fact, we are there now. But thankfully, summon attack is ready to go online. So try this on for size, buggo. Uh-huh, if I do this, we end up going to overheat. Let's instead do, because we're about to get a trick here with Victor. So let's do this and set up that poison shot. Yeah. Oh, we're going to hit overdrive, but I can salvage this. I can kind of salvage this. I'm going to have the defend, though. That's fine. Wow, 100 damage from that poison. That's pretty nice. Hmm. 
You're weak! Um... Oh, yeah, we can escape. Overdrive right now. Oh, overheat. Sorry, we can escape. I've been thinking, like, if we, like, managed to get a huge chain, we could, like, go down to that lower block. But what's the point? It seems to be about the same length as the block of overdrive we're on right now, so... I don't see the point doing that. Um, what we can do... Bring in... I haven't used Sienna at all today. Well, well like, maybe in, like, a couple of fights, very briefly. Um, let's not do this. Like, th with this, I could, like, maybe get down to that bottom track, but I don't see the point, so let's not do that. Instead, let's just, uh... Keep it real here. Ugh. We're doing really well in terms of keeping in that tiny overdrive bar. I'm a little Im impressed with myself that I'm pulling this off right now, if we're perfectly honest. Set that up too. Oh, okay, or just take him out. Hell yeah. And a Grimoire Shard! This place is crazy. Come, let's go on. I don't want to see another demon appear. Everything because of the Grand Grimoire. So, maybe I should have realized that this thing was coming when I, you know, that checkpoint was there with the crystal and the um, merchant and everything. In hindsight, a very obvious, like, you know, boss gate, you know, pre-boss buff. I I guess a part of me was thinking that uh, this is only halfway through the area, so I wasn't expecting a boss yet. Is there still going to be one? I don't know. It, like, two bosses in this area? It's not impossible. We had to do the Giga Drill Breaker and the that Bandit Thama when we, uh, when we uh, did... Uh, the lads in Cortara. I mean, Cortara in general had a million bosses if you want to count all the split paths, you know? Let's take a quick look at this thing. I'm very curious. Puppeteer. A hunter in Perpetua who uses illusions to impair the senses of its victims. Visually a spawn of hell, of which every inhabitant in Valandis can be glad that it was destroyed. Or was that also just an illusion? Oh, spooky! <laughs> I like that vibe. That's kind of fun. And then the puppet. An illusion created by the puppeteer. Its experience has shown that the representation of an angelic woman is the most seductive for the majority of travelers in Perpetua. I like that they're kind of playing up that it's unclear how much of a just a beast this thing was, or was it some kind of like more malicious creature? Like, was it just instincts that created the puppet? Or, you know, it says experience here, so was, was there a malicious intelligence driving this thing, do you wonder? I don't know. They both had 3,000 hit points, which is quite a bit. Look at these values here. Arlette was 5,000, so I guess nothing too crazy, but yeah. Fascinating. Anyway, um, I'm going to do the leveling up with the Grimoire Shard, of course. But um, if you're not interested in that, this is uh, the moment we part ways once again. Next time we're going to continue through Perpetua, wrap up our business, and find out what waits for us at the monastery. Hmm. But, um, so thanks for joining all of those of you, and catch you all next week. The rest of you, let's go over what fun new goodies we have available here now. Um... Right, okay, so we're at here. So we get a new ability here. Let's see. Decoy raises chance to be attacked by an enemy. One. Arms break or attack stance. I'm not a fan of this one. I'm thinking we get arms break to complement armor break. Let's do that. Meanwhile, over here. Heavy thrust. We're kind of doing that already with the with the warrior thing we got, so maybe not that. Heal, uh, offer, no, uh, sword wave. Come stronger with consecutive use up to five times. I don't really like any of these, so... What if with, um, 
Killian, I actually skip this and we get like an extra of these for a change. Yeah, I mean, this would be nice, Ultra Move. We'll just pick that up. I didn't really like any of these, I'm sorry. I, the heavy Thrust I would have liked if I didn't already have uh, the Warrior thing equipped on him. So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna like, which gives basically the same ability. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, but over here, let's see. Healing him grants HP regen with a potency of 0.2% for 5 turns on everybody. Ooh. Requiem would be nice too. Or shielding Mazurka. HP absorb shield. Interesting, that one too. I think we don't want to take both of these. And maybe heal is cheaper so uh, healing him maybe i'll just get that a lot of buffs we're gonna be tossing out now with uh victor we'll figure it out how it goes meanwhile dispel removes targets buffs one mm -hmm. berserker grants berserk a little high risk i might not take that or light sword Kind of boring, but maybe I'll take Light Sword. I mean, Dispel would also be kind of neat. Maybe I'll just take Light Sword. A little boring, but I'll take it. Third Eye raises damage of next move by 125%. So, over double. Wow. It lowers user's defense in mind by... Nah, I don't like that. We're just going to get all these jumps, I guess. Let's start with Wada Jump. And over here, Paralyzed Shot, Charging. Okay, there's no, um, huh, no debuffs to this one, so might might be fun. Throat Cut, Inflict Silence. Um, Paralyze is neater, but I guess Silence would have more utility, like, uh, okay, sorry. Paralyze more more useful, more utility, like it works on basically everybody. Silence might be critical for shutting down some awful abilities from, like, some enemies, so... Hmm, kind of a tough choice. Should I just take charging for now? Just for funsies? Ah, let's do it. Um... Let's go over here to this side, because we took four from here. Let's jump over here instead and get something from here instead, like... More rare drops... Crit damage up. Yes, with the Nukitsuke, it's gonna work lovely. And I believe that is all of our skills taken care of. Starting to be full, these. We're going to get, like, a couple more abilities, but um, once we hit the next tier of skills, we're going to have to start swapping out these abilities at the top. I say at the top. Technically, I can swap any of them out, but... It's something to consider. But, uh, yeah, looking good, I'd say. Passive skills are also filling up here. But I'd say it's okay. I'm gonna have to think about those as well once we get to higher levels, though. Alright, this went great. I'm... Uh... It's funny, compared to the, you know, the, 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 the triple gang of the three goons of Perpetua, that was a bit of a rough fight. This puppeteer fight, though, I'd say that went like clockwork. That was perfect. Uh, I'm really happy with that throwdown, so, wow. But, uh, yeah, uh, once again, also for those who stuck out as this far, thanks for watching. Next time, we're gonna finish this area, hopefully, and get to uh, Kindreld Monastery and carry on. So, look forward to it. Bye!